All right, in this video, we are gonna teach you how to connect the SMTP to ClickFunnels. All right, what's up everybody? Today, we're going to be doing the SMTP integration with ClickFunnels. Uh, we are also going to quickly uh, give an example of how to set up a your DNS records to, uh, to verify it so you can set it up with your SMTP. Now that's actually where a lot of people get messed up. Uh, they'll get like a 505 error when they set up their SMTP, even though they followed the instructions and the help desk stuff. Uh, but that's that's why. It's because you didn't verify your your uh, your domain. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I've already got mine set up. So if you want me to remove it and then reset it up completely instead of doing it this way, just post down in the comments. We can make another video. It's not hard. Uh, but in this one, I'm just gonna kind of run through it and explain it and hopefully you guys can get it from that if not like i said post in the comments we can completely remove everything take away the verifications and do it that way uh, let's get into it real quick if this works for you then great if it doesn't let me know all right now when you get to your dashboard you want to come up here to account settings and by dashboard i just mean the home page of click funnels after you log into your account that's your dashboard so you go to account settings go to email integrations and you can see I already have mine integrated. I wonder if I can, yeah, we can see the settings. Okay, so these are the settings you need to set up basically. So uh, when you're setting it up, you're just gonna have this be blank and so you're gonna fill it all in. Title is just whatever you wanna call it. It could be anything you want. Your The name is the name in the from section uh, before it has the email, that's what this is. So if you want it sent from you, that's what you need to put there. If you want it sent from your company, uh, then you need to put that there instead. And then the email you want it sent to or sent from. All right, and then SMTP server. This is the same for everybody that uses SendGrid. I have mine connected through SendGrid, so if you're using a different version or want to see a different SMTP setup, let me know in the comments down below and I can go ahead and do that too. Uh, I've actually never done the other one, so I would love to find out. So, I mean, if you guys are curious enough and want me to do it, I'll do it. But uh, SMTP server is just smtp.sendgrid.net. It's the same for everybody. SMTP port is also the same for everybody. It's 587. SMTP user is your username that you signed up with when you signed up for SendGrid. So we'll go to SendGrid. All right, here's SendGrid.com. When you sign up, there is a free plan. So obviously sign up for that first until you figure everything out. Uh, the big thing you gotta be worried about with SendGrid and their, their lower tier plans Yes, they seem ridiculously cheap. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, the two lower ones do not have dedicated IPs. So if you use these uh, and you start getting spam, uh, you get your email start going to spam, it's because you're on a non-dedicated IP. It means you're sharing IPs with other people and they're getting spam or they're sending out spam and it's messing up the score to where uh, you're not getting as good of delivery. If you start having that issue, you just need to upgrade to the 8995 plan, and that will give you a dedicated IP to use. All right, so that's the solution to that problem. Uh, but anyways, f sign up for that, and then plug in your username and your password for that, and then the SMTP domain is just sendgrid.net. That's same for everybody. Domain is the domain you want to register for your SMTP account. Uh, the SMTP, I believe the domain and the email need to be the same or from the same domain. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm I'm like 95% sure. <laughs> I think I tried it before and it didn't work. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure they have to match. You can test it out if you want. And if it does work without it, let me know in the comments if you know. Uh, and then obviously you fill out your address and stuff. Make sure you put your country in there. Uh, in the SMTP footer, the rules, you have to have your address, uh, your company name or your name, and an unsubscribe button. And this is how you add that. Now, if you want a little layout, you just go to click the learn here thing and it'll bring you to here. Scroll all the way down right here it gives you just copy that 
and then change out the the name, the address, and the phone number if you want a phone number on there. I personally don't include a phone number on mine, so that's just me. Completely up to you there. This is all set up. You want to set this to default SMTP integration unless you have a different one that you want to use. Now, this looks good. Normally, you would just click Save SMTP Integration, and I could do that because my DNS records are fixed. But if you haven't done that, you need to go to your account. Here, we'll go to the main part. So when you log in to your account for SynGrid, this is what you're gonna see. So you go down the side here, go to settings, and then go to mail settings here. You gotta activate your uh, event webhook. So click that. This will actually be disabled. So you want to enable that. And then here, go back over to ClickFunnels. Click this here, copy that paste that in here and then click dropped bounced unsubscribed and spam reports remember to enable it and then just hit save so that'll that'll show up enabled at that point all right now we have to authenticate your domain so we go here obviously mine's done already but anyways when you authenticate your domain you just click on that you click whatever host you try to you scroll down find the host for your domain uh, so if it's not on there which mine isn't actually so I would click put Bluehost here now this here is just if you want to brand the links for your domain instead of SendGrids not that big of a deal it's just personal preference click next then you type in the domain you want to use all right and then there these are the DNS records you have to change you have to change the C names so you go to your host, your domain host. Now, if yours is Bluehost, then this is gonna be exactly what you do, because that's that's who I use. Uh, they're cheap, easy, and that's where I have my blog hosted too, so. But yeah, you go down to domains. Now, Bluehost is a little bit finicky. You have to get to the zone editor, and it's a pain in the ass to get there. So, just go to subdomains, and that'll pop up the zone editor down here. I don't, I don't know why it's like that. See, it just popped up on the side. All right. You want to go to zone editor go for the uh, domain you want and then you just copy here paste it then change this to C name the TLL does not matter do not worry about that at all then go over here copy this one Oop, didn't copy there we go Then paste that in there and hit add record that's it that's all you do uh, then you do that for every single one of them. So that would be another record. 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 Then after you do all that, you click this right here and hit verify. It's not going to confirm because I didn't do it. This is what you'll get usually right after you do it. So don't expect it to just automatically go through. This even did it for me. And I know for a fact I didn't mess it up. So sometimes you just have to wait about 20 minutes. Uh, it does actually say down here it can take up to four hours to propagate. Worst case scenario, you're waiting four hours. If four hours passes, there's something wrong. Now, you can scroll down to the CNAME records right here and look for them. They're usually at the bottom if you just put them in. And you can verify if they match up. Okay? Uh, and if they do, then just wait a little bit and then go back and re-verify. That's it. Uh, it actually took me three times to verify to get mine to work. It's completely normal. It took about 15 minutes for me. All right. So, and then you go back to ClickFunnels after that's done. You're completely integrated at this point. You just have to click Save SMTP Integration. And it'll pop up this up here. Success. Voila. We're done. We are good and ready to set up our email uh, sequences. So, uh, I hope this helped. This was for the people in the One Funnel Away Challenge on the Facebook uh, group page. So I hope this helps some of you guys. I've noticed a lot of people struggling with it and I would have made this a lot sooner, but I've been busy with the, obviously the challenge and then the, the review of the challenge every day and all the extra stuff in my life. So uh, I'm sorry it took so long, but uh, hopefully this helped you all. If, uh, if it didn't and you need more help, just ask in the comments down below and I'll, I'll get to it as soon as I can. Uh, but Thank you for watching and uh, like the video if you can. It does help me out. Uh, I'm going to try and get this to uh, show up on YouTube search results. So maybe it can help other people too. But uh, like the video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video.